Hello, this is Vern, and if you want to know how you can ethically and intensely own a guy's heart without playing games where he doesn't know what hit him, but can't stop thinking about you and pursuing you in a healthy, keyword here, and sustainable way, well, you are in luck, because that's exactly what I'm gonna be sharing with you on my video today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to another edition of VernMendez.com. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how you can attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or silly techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. Listen, my biggest goal for you today is by the end of this video that you have an overwhelming feeling that the result you want, the attraction you want, the depth of relationship you want is within your grasp if you're willing to get slightly uncomfortable and change some mindset and some behavioral things that you're doing right now, make some small shifts. Because the biggest thing I've witnessed when women reach out to me wanting to create a relationship, and maybe this is you, maybe you feel like the guys who connect with you are not the type of guy you wanna connect with, and that the guys you're attracted to either don't want you back or want you, but simply for having fun and not willing to commit, so something feels broken. Maybe you feel like no matter how hard you try, there's not enough men out there who fit the bill to connect with you and you feel all alone in the process. Maybe you feel like there's something wrong inside of you. Maybe you feel like there's something missing. Maybe you feel like it's hard for you to express your needs. My goal is for today to be the beginning of a transformation that allows you to get so much more of what you want with men and as a result of that with life as well. The first shift that I need you to start making if you want to create this attraction and this pursuit for men, if you're not creating it right now, is to go from confusion and numbness to ignition. Listen, once you recognize that the most visceral need that a man has when he connects with you is to feel more intensely alive, then you can put your energy and focus on something that's fundamentally great for you and will also happen to be something he feels intensely attracted to, which is your own ignition, meaning turn yourself on, fall in love with your life. <laughs> when you put your energy first and foremost on what do you have to do to make sure that when you wake up, you feel alive. When you go to work, you're feeling purpose. When you're out and about, you have a generosity of feeling so much that it's easy for you to share instead of feeling like you have to constrain your expression or that you have to hold on to the little energy you have because the world is putting too many demands on you. When you take the specific actions, and that could be anything from singing to dancing to connecting with things you love to writing to journaling to connecting with friends to being more expressive to volunteering, anything that helps you feel more ignited will ensure that instead of you having to try so hard, you can simply show up and the mere act of you presenting yourself into a room changes the energy of the room. That's completely possible. And the shift you need to make is instead of being confused about what to do or where to start, or maybe feeling like there's numbness in your heart, that you start doing those things that light up a fire inside of you so you can transfer that emotion more powerfully to everyone around you, including the men who are in your periphery who may not be connecting with you because they're not feeling that sense of aliveness and intensity coming from you. Now, before I go on with my next five steps, I'd like to invite you, if you want to understand how you can take all the concepts that I'm sharing with you right now in this video and any of my other videos and apply them in a way that's practical and make sure it's not just intellectual knowledge, is hit the first link on the description of this video and you'll see a page that looks like this. Enter your name and email and you can start watching my free masterclass that will show you how to actualize these changes beyond intellect into an actual transformation. Now, the second way, the second shift that you need to start making is you need to shift your focus. And if you just did this one thing, your life would massively enhance. Shift from focusing on weight and youth and beauty and focus instead on health and the natural expression of health, both mental and physical, which is radiance. I see so many women who are working so hard at the gym in a way that's not healthy, but making them cosmetically look a different way, or investing so much or spending so much money on things that are cosmetic in nature, nothing against those. It's just that it's typically unsustainable. The small thing that will reduce a couple of wrinkles or might make uh, three of your gray hairs <laughs> black again, or lose a couple of pounds and then gain them back a couple of weeks later, is not enough to create the shift that you need to feel the confidence and for you to be more resonant and stand out 
in an ocean of women who want to create connections with men. So if you want to stop competing on things that are necessary, put your focus instead on what are the things you can do that create more health in your life? What are the things you can do instead of focusing on how can I reduce my wrinkles, focus on how can I improve the flow of oxygen <laughs> to my brain. And you will find that the actions you take will be exponentially more return on investment for you than the ones you're taking right now if you're focusing on cosmetic stuff that doesn't really last. And that as your brain gets stronger, as you feel better, as you feel more present, that the natural result of that is a level of radiance that is unmatched by most people out there because most people are focusing on the wrong things. Most people are focusing on things that don't last. And when you take a moment to focus on things that are really at the core of how you can be more shiny, then you start standing out beyond anyone else around you, beyond anyone else he's connecting with, and you start deepening that punch to his heart, which is what is gonna make him start pursuing you more and start becoming more interested in you versus somebody else. Number three is you need to shift from a focus on fear and lack to abundance in terms of evaluating someone and having the right boundaries. Here's what I mean. When your focus is on, I don't want to ask him these questions because he's gonna think I'm needy and he's gonna run away. But as long as you view it that way, then you won't ask the right questions, which means you won't evaluate him properly, which means you might find out after month three of dating him that he wants nothing like you do uh, in terms of a relationship that's deep and the type of values that you hold true to your heart and then you're wasting your time. What I mean by boundaries is when you're unable to say no or no thanks or this is what I need before I proceed this way, whether it's a sexual boundary or a time boundary or a kindness and respect boundary, when you're unable to share it because you feel like he might think you're weird or he might think you're asking for too much, then what happens is you get the crumbs of what he's able to offer because you don't give him enough information to value you more, to value you for the true depth and awesomeness that you have. And I'm talking to you right now. You might not feel that it's you, that there's no awesomeness in you. I'm telling you right now, regardless of what any guy has told you, regardless of how you feel about yourself right now, this sh can shift very quickly if you start recognizing that you can ask better questions to evaluate men better. If they don't like it, that's their problem. And if you set the right boundaries in a healthy, kind way, then with firmness as well, then the guys who continue moving forward are the right guys. The guys who fall through the wayside are the guys who are not worth your time and energy. Shift number four, you need to shift from neediness to expressing needs. And here's the weirdness about this concept. Many women think that if they ask for what they need, they'll be needy. And I'm telling you that the opposite is true. When you don't ask for what you need, then the only thing that can result from that is more times than not, not having him meet your needs, which means two things. A, you feel bad about the situation, and B, he doesn't get to win. So because he doesn't get to win, he doesn't get the full expression from you saying, this is awesome, this is exciting, which means he's investing differently. So when you have the clarity and the courage to say, here's what would make this even better, Here's what I would love to have happen. Here's what I need to have sex with you. Here's what I need to go on a second date with you. I mean, or this didn't sound right. Can you please help me understand what you meant by it? Because it hurt me when you said this. Or I mean, whenever you get the chance to express your needs, then you no longer have to feel needy all the time because he's not meeting them. You're actually giving him a chance to win, which is something he needs to be able to pursue you and to have you basically be the owner of his heart. Number five. You need to shift from projecting chemistry to feeling him, actually feeling him. Here's what I mean. Many women at this early stages of connecting with someone, he's attractive, he's charming, he's funny, makes good money. So she starts feeling like, man, I maybe found my guy. So instead of focusing on really connecting to, with your presence to what he's really offering you, what he's saying behind those words and what his actions, not his words or his intentions really mean, you start projecting. And then you start not focusing on the reality, but on a dream that you have that you want to have happen. When you make the shift from projecting chemistry to actually feeling him, he can actually feel you as well. When you take the time, two extra seconds, to be present in the interactions you have with him, to be present with yourself when you're not with him, instead of thinking about the future, to recognizing what is really taking place right now. What is he actually doing? Not what is he saying, what am I feeling when he calls me, but what is he actually doing right now? to pursue this relationship and to create the safety necessary for me to open my heart more. 
if you recognize that it's pure chemistry and excitement, but actions are not flowing, then you can make a shift. If you recognize that his actions are strong, then you can continue opening your heart. Shift number six, I need you to change from pushing to leaning back. When you are pushing, initiating, twisting his arm, uh, ultimatums of the unhealthy kind, instead of recognizing that when you bring yourself to the table and you're being generous with your expressiveness and you're being centered and you have more options because he's not the only guy you're dating, you actually take the clear and concise step of dating more than one guy unexclusively with boundaries with all of them. You're not having sex with any of them. You're not going physically strong with any of them, but you are allowing yourself to get to know them. Then you can take the courageous step of leaning back and allowing the guys who want to show up to show up and not having to do their work for them or twisting their arm or manipulating them in any way. When you do that, you get a chance to feel someone who's coming close to you. When you push someone, he pushes back. When you lean back, if he's the right kind, keyword underlining here, if he's the right kind of energy, then he'll naturally want to come forward and he'll start doing the things that make you feel intensely more connected. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. If you got some value from this, I'd love for you to click the first link in the description so you can learn how you can take the concepts that I'm sharing with you right now from mere mental constructs to an actual process and transformation in your own life. So just click the first link and watch my free training. Now, if you enjoy this video, share the love. Click like and thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you hit the little bell, you'll be notified when new episodes that come out. And last but not least, and I'm talking to you, if you're still watching me right now, then this message is for you. If you've been going at this for some time, if you've been watching videos, going to therapy, uh, following the law of attraction, getting shamanic cleanses, uh, praying at night, and nothing seems to be shifting your reality, then you might significantly benefit from specific hand-holding and accountability of the kind that can create this shift in far faster than you can do it on your own. So if you think I might be able to personally help you, I have a few spots open right now for working with clients. Second link in the description of this video will allow you to connect with me. And if we're a fit, we'll have a conversation to figure out if we can work together. Thank you so much for opening your heart. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Thank you so much for allowing me and my message and uh, my purpose to have a small impact on your life. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.